good day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. I'm so glad to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. All right. So we are thankful to be back. And I, you know, early this morning when I woke up, this Psalm 136 came to me that give thanks unto our Lord God, for he is very, very good. And Amen. his mercies endureth Endure forever ever. and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, verse 2 says in 136 ver uh, verse uh, 2, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord God. He is the Lord God of all gods. Amen. We've got so many gods here on earth, but there's only one true God. And he, his name is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Jehovah Nissi, our banner. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are so thankful this morning that we can uplift the name of our Lord that is alive. Hallelujah. From the beginning till the end. Amen. That's why it's called the Alpha and the Omega. The yes. beginning and the end. The one who was and is and is to come. The Almighty One. And we are thankful that we can we can encourage you today and enrich you in the word of God because this word, the word of God is alive and sharper than, than any two Amen. edges. Sword. And we are so glad to be back just to encourage you. Yes. We want to speak. We want to continue speaking about the of being obedience in the Holy Spirit and how uh, effective uh, it is how, how wonderful and effective prayer person you will become whether you are man or a woman of God Amen. I want to say uh, we want to encourage you today that you must stay in the presence of God yes. be with him and he's the one that lead and guide us the Holy Spirit lead and guide us in all truth and we are thankful that we can give thanks unto the God of gods for his mercy endureth yes, forever the, the, the other gods in this world are idols they are not uh, for real. We want to say this this, this morning. Amen? Amen. So we know that this true God of our salvation us, is alive. Hallelujah. And it also give thanks to the Lord of Lords. That is our King. Our Jesus is the Lord of Lords, the Amen. King of Kings. And uh, uh, he, His mercies endure forever. forever. And we are thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ. That brought salvation to us. That's yes. why the Bible says that salvation comes from the Jew. Because Jesus grew up as a Jew. And we are thankful that we as accepted him as our personal Savior. Yes. As our Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Yes, Lord. The soon coming Messiah. Thank Hallelujah. You, he is the only true Messiah. Yes, and Lord. today we are thankful that we can uplift his wonderful and precious name. Yes. Hallelujah, the name that is above, above all other names, name. the name that we believe that every knee shall bow mm. and that yeah, every tongue will, will confess him as Lord and, and Savior. Savior. Hallelujah. In uh, uh, Psalm 136, uh, verse 26 as well, it says there, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, the God of heavens, for his mercy endureth endure forever. forever. So God is, is, uh, is in heaven. Yes. He's, uh, 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 he's uh, residing there, that is his residence, and we, and his, and his Spirit, His Holy Spirit is dwelling within us, and we are His people, and we are glad Amen. to be His people, yes. hallelujah. It says here in Psalm 140, that surely the righteous shall give thanks unto the name of the, the name that is above all other name, the upright shall dwell in His Presence forever. His presence is our everything, and we are so glad that we uh, that we uh, we know that His presence are with us, and His uh, His love, His joy, His peace, His uh, everything is with us. Yes. Everything of Him, you know, and it's so wonderful. His wisdom, His His knowledge, His insight. But now I'm gonna ask my husband uh, just to give uh, uh, just to read for us. Judges three. From verse 9, when the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer for the children of Israel, who delivered them, Othenio, the son of Kinas, Caleb's younger brother. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel. He went out to war, and the Lord delivered Cushan Rishatham, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand, and his hand prevailed over Kushan Ritatam. 
So the land had rest for 40 years. Then Othaniel, the son of Kenaz, died. Amen. Can you just explain to the people what you read there? Uh, the, uh, the time of Judges, when the, when the, the Lord, the, the Word of God actually said at the end of the book of Joshua, in the start of Judges, is when Joshua died, then they, they had no leader and they did everything. Every man did what they wanted to do. So the people went into idolatry. They, mm -hmm. they drifted away from God. And so from time to time, the nations uh, from around them came, uh, came upon uh, Israel and, defeat, and, and made war uh, with them and defeated them. And then from time to time, they would cry out to the Lord. And then the Lord will raise up another judge to, to, to judge them. The judge, what they call here, the judge is actually the ruler. It's like we have a president. Some countries are prime ministers, but in, the, in those days, they, they, they called the people who ruled Israel, they called them judges. And so uh, God raised up Othenial. He was Caleb's, uh, he was the, the son of Kenaz, and Kenaz was the son of Caleb, his younger brother. No, not his son, but his younger brother. And we remember Caleb was the one that went with Joshua to mm, scout out yes, the land, and they right. were the only two that said they can take the land. Mm. And so, um, so uh, this Othaniel was in the line of Caleb. So, um, uh, so it's uh, it's obvious to to ex accept that Caleb inspired Othaniel with his uh, faith that he, uh, Caleb had in God. So that that's why the Spirit of God could rest upon Othaniel and he went to war with this king of Kushan mm -hmm. and he defeated the king and the word of God says they had peace for 40 years yeah. and it's so so amazing that every time they had peace for 40 years after every 40 years they went into sin and to a rebellion against God and then they were then the enemy come, came up against them. But as long as this person was alive, they had, they had peace. Because it says in verse 11, So the land had rest for 40 years. Then Othenio, the son of Kenneth, died. And we see when the, when the judge died, then there was nobody to follow in his footsteps. Then the, pe then the people went astray again. Amen. Yeah, that is so awesome that we know when you're in the army of God, I want to encourage those that are also in the military army of, of especially in Israel. I want to say that stay focused in, in, uh, on our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Stay focused upon him because he's the one, his spirit, his Holy Spirit, lead and guide us in all truth. Yes. You know, the Holy Spirit are so real. You will find it out when you're facing your enemy. As my husband and I has faced many enemies. My husband was for 31 years in the South African Navy. And I want to say that he has faced many uh, 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 enemies there, but he could he could handle it because of the Lord God Almighty that was inside him. Amen. Amen. And, uh, uh, you know, it is important. I want to encourage those that are in the army and that is in the army of God. I want to say to you this morning that God is real and Amen. He's, uh, he's with you. Uh, uh, if you're in the army of of of, of God, that uh, as the Israelites is now the the Jewish people that are facing these, what we watch on the news. Mm. Can you just explain that what we watched just last night on the news, the world news? Yes, what we saw on the world news was the the fighting that's happening in in uh, in Jerusalem. The, the Israeli government they they stormed a mosque. The Hamas retaliated with rockets firing rockets into, into Israel and one person was killed but then Israel retaliated again with striking into Lebanon and, uh, and 20, 20 people were killed and all of that was children mm -hmm. and we can see uh, the yes. end times is escalating as, uh, as Christ has, has, has pre uh, predicted and has prophesied in Matthew mm -hmm. 24 
that nation will rise against nation and people against people. And we see that in this time it is it is important, it is, is vital to stay in the safety of our Lord, to stay in the in the in our salvation, to hold on to the to the God of our salvation. So that is what happened last night in, mm. in uh, what we Jerusalem. saw. But we, we want, as I said, we want to encourage those that's in the army of God. If you can turn to me in Ephesians uh, 6. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the vials of the devil. Mm. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having girded your waist with truth having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having sought your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit being watchful to this end, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. As Amen. you read here, you know, I like this, uh, uh, you know, when I used to encourage the prayer groups and uh, the groups that I went to and the churches that I went to and they asked me to encourage them in, in, in the word of God. So I said, just stay in the presence of God. And number two, I used to read this to them about the full armor that you put on your headgear of salvation. You know that the full armor, the headgear, you know, that speaks about it. You know, the, the Bible says here. Uh, that we uh, wrestle not against faith, but we must Amen. be good. Uh, we must gird our loins also with with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and that. But the first the headgear, I always used to tell them the headgear of salvation is so important. You know, uh, uh, become a, a, a blood once born again believer in Christ Jesus, because by His precious blood that flow at the cross of Calvary, we are, are, are in blood covenant relationship with the Lord yes. Jesus Christ today. And I want to say today that we we really appreciate our salvation. We appreciate what God, what Jesus Amen. has done for us. And uh, uh, you know, he, he said that having uh, uh, shod your your feet with the preparation of the of the gospel of peace in this Bible that I'm reading from. You know, at, at, but we want to bring out, you know, that, that you must be ready in season, out of season, to spread the gospel, Amen. to spread the word of God, you know, to the nations and to the people, and even in your own country. And uh, it's important that we should stand firm in faith. That's yes. what it says here. Uh, in addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish the flaming mus mus missiles of the evil one. You see, we saw how the missiles came, you know, the, the, the natural one of the, of the, of the enemy. That's mm. the enemy that are fighting Israel because yeah. Israel, we are, the, are, are for the Israelites today because we know that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob mm. is a true God of our salvation. Yes. And that, that through his precious uh, uh, son, Christ Jesus came salvation. And that's why I say it is important, you know, that we should pray and uh, pray at all times in the spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit is real it is god himself that are praying through us he see from heaven everything he are uh, his eyes the bible say goes to and fro and he uh, uh, around this whole uh, world and he see what is happening in israel he mm. see what is happening now that people uh, uh, in india my heart uh, i cried with the lord uh, yesterday when i saw how the people of in india are are suffering there because they are worshiping idols uh, they uh, uh, that's why god is uh, is also trying to get uh, through them and and 
that we're living in a time where judgments are already happening. Uh, you know, God is a God that if He judge, He ju don't judge a uh, people, mm. but He judge the the the, the, the enemy, yes. the enemy that are, are trying to keep people in bondage with these idols and that. But yes. I want, we want to say this morning: break free from these idols yes. and and come and know the the, the the true God of our salvation. Yes, come Lord. and taste and see that the Lord is good, as a psalmist say in Psalm. Under, uh, Psalm 34 yes. that you must come and taste and see that the Lord is good come and uh, know him know your true identity don't be uh, misled by false idols mm. by by uh, ungodly and unholy things yes. uh, that's why these things are happening we want to say this afternoon uh, be in the army of god rather equip yourself with the full armor yes. of god as we read to Amen. you this day concerning uh, the full armor of god in judges where it explained my husband explained earlier on of how Othaniel was faithful. Amen. Mm, he was amen. faithful. And all the others were faithful. Yes. And also Samson. I'm telling you, yes. he works through everyone. He can work through a, a person, you know, by just uh, being obedient yes. to the Lord. He's looking for obedient uh, children of him. We are God's obedient children and faithful children because his spirit keeps us faithful mm. and obedient. He wants us to live obedient. Yes, life. Lord. And we want to encourage you, stay in the army of God. Hallelujah. Amen. He cares for you. Yes. He cares Amen. for you. He Thank loves you. Lord as Jesus. the Bible says, God loves us all so much that he gave his only begotten son. Mm. That you ever believe in our Lord Jesus Christ will never ever mm. perish but will uh, or die. Let me rather say that way because we all must die one day. And that, But the thing is, as we know that when we die, we will still have everlasting life. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord when, Jesus. You, when you die today, and you open up your eyes, you will be in heaven. We know that that our uh, spirit uh, uh, lives forever. Our spirit is an inner man that lives forever. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Because our spirit, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit touch our spirit. Hallelujah. And Thank we are Jesus. thankful. He touch yes. our heart. He heals our heart. That is why our ministry is called touching and, and uh, God is touching and healing all nations. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. We believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As, as uh, we read earlier on that uh, uh, finally, brothers, and sisters be strong in the lord and in the power and his strength i want to yes. my bible says strength of his might hallelujah because we serve an almighty god he's an almighty god and he's a, he's a live god he wants to touch you he wants to heal you he wants to have a, a fellowship with you daily so don't reject him when he comes to you when you when you meet him and that when his uh, holy spirit is gentle when his spirit came upon us the first time what did we feel the gentle spirit mm. that came upon us right amen and it was so awesome day that we've been baptized not just in the water but also in the holy spirit the most important person in our life it's the, the baptism of the holy spirit we want to say it's more important than the baptism of the water because that is also just obedience which jesus has shown the the uh, obedience by by baptizing him while he was uh, uh, baptized by john, john the baptist yes i just Amen. feel in my spirit i have to mention this and when he was baptized the spirit came from uh, the word of God, the Holy Spirit's voice came, that's the almighty God, a uh, father God that spoke to him and, and to the people that was there, uh, 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 present that time with John. It, uh, it wasn't John's followers, it was uh, the followers of God almighty because they could hear that he's speaking the truth at all time. And he said that there's one coming after me that is much uh, uh, stronger and much greater than I am. Mm, and uh, he knew that he was chosen by God. He knew that God has chosen him for this time and age that we, and that time, sorry, and age in that generation of Jesus' timeline. I want to say when Jesus uh, took that step of obedience, he was obedient to God the Father. Yes. Hallelujah. And we are glad today when the, the God spoke from heaven and he said, uh, 
uh, the word that he said is, uh, this is my beloved son and whom I'm in, I am well pleased. Hallelujah. And we know that, that Jesus lived to please our father in heaven. That's why he spent quality time daily in the presence of God because he knew he was chosen as a true son of God. He was God in flesh. Hallelujah. And we are thankful that we can uplift his wonderful name. Yes, the Lord. name that is above all other names. The name that every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And we want to encourage you today. We want to encourage you today to stay firm in faith. Amen. Because yes. God wants us to be, uh, to, uh, to our faith to increase in Him daily. Let your faith increase in Him. Let your, your, Pardon, let your faith increase so much that you know that what whatever uh, enemy you face, that God is the God of, 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 of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. And that you can become an Israelite in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to say to you that Jesus is alive and he is a true soon coming Messiah. Yes. He's going to come on the clouds and every eye, every nation will see him. Everyone will see him. No, uh, 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 it's going to be a beautiful event, right? Amen. It's going to be a most beautiful event when Jesus is going to come on the clouds and he's going to come for his ready bride. We are his bride and he's the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are glad that day when everything is going to be changed. Our mortal bodies is going to be changed into a glorious body. It's going to be a glorious day when Jesus is going to come on the air. And we're looking forward for that day. It's going to be a, a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Thank it's going to be a glorious day day my god and we are so glad we are so glad that we are looking forward for that day Thank you, Lord and Jesus. with this we want to greet you in the wonderful and precious precious name of our lord jesus christ Thank you, Lord Jesus. that lives forever and in ever. ever hallelujah Thank you, bless jesus. you we, we bless you that listen yes and in stay jesus firm name. in faith in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ hallelujah Thank you for tuning in. We will come back with more and more news. Good news from the Bible. True news from the Bible. Amen. Amen. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes.